Hi guys, it is me, Victoria. So, for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I find interesting, and I think it's helpful to men, because I don't really feel men necessarily know this for a fact. It's something about women. And I don't think even women really understand this about themselves, alright? And that is that a lot of women are looking for a certain type of sex that they cannot even admit to themselves that they are looking for, all right? And if you look at it like evolutionarily speaking, um, you watch some nature, nature documentaries, it makes perfect sense. Um, you know, animals, a lot of animals, I mean, there's a lot of different mating behavior of different animals, but a lot of animals experience mating behavior in this way. But as women, I think that we have a really hard time acknowledging this part of ourselves because of feminism. And I don't think that feminism contradicts this behavior I'm going to tell you about at all because, you know, feminism is about the basic idea is, you know, equal rights for women. Women used to be literally the property of men. I mean, that's not okay, right? Women are people too. And um, we need to undo a lot of the basically like slavery that women were in for a lot of years. Um, so feminism is good, but it does kind of It can kind of mess with women's minds because there's all this talk in the media, teach women to be strong, teach women to be, you know, that it's not about their looks, it's about like their achievements and their, you know, we are powerful and like badass and yeah, 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 okay, we are, like that's obvious, but people kind of overdo it a lot of times and it causes women to deny another side of themselves, a more primal ancient side of themselves perhaps, um, that kicks into gear when, you know, the sexuality is turned on and women don't want to face this side of themselves so they kind of get confused. So what I'm talking about is a lot of women they want to have, you know, 50 shades of gray sex. They want to be submissive. They want a strong guy. They want a certain kind of guy. Um, open a romance novel in, like, CVS. You will see what women want, what they fantasize about loud and clear, right? It's always the same kind of guy. Um, he's very dominant, he's very, like, kind of rough around the edges, he's strong, he's in control, um, he leads, and a lot of women, I think they have, like, this kind of, like, deep down, they want to experience that, they want to see what it's like, alright? But they kind of confuse things because they think that, in order to get that experience, they have to attract it some way, all right? It's a lot more simple to get that experience than women think, which is the kink community. It's all about that, okay? DS, BDSM, dominant, submissive, like you can, they have a great way of going about it. I mean, they... Their understanding of like consent is like light years beyond what normal people's understanding of consent is. They negotiate it out, they talk about it, they have like this controlled scene. People can experience that. But instead, like most women, they don't want to acknowledge their like kinky desires. So they try to just get it in the normal dating world, okay? And so they're like, how am I going to get that without basically telling someone that? This is where all this dating advice for women comes in. For example, telling women to be passive, telling women to lean back, 
telling women to get into their feminine energy, which really annoys me because it's annoying. Um, basically, women have to act as, this is what they tell women to act, as passive as possible. Because if you act as passive as possible, then a man, it will kind of like instinctually trigger that in him, like to act more dominant and aggressive. So the problem with that is that you have women living their lives in this incredibly passive state, which I feel kind of like poisons the rest of their lives, gives them no agency, um, gives them no, you know, ability to ask for what they want, to speak up for themselves. They're trying to be like, they're trying to bait the guy without saying the words, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a submissive experience with a dom or whatever. They try to act as passive as possible. Then there's the whole like spiritual sexuality side um, of like personal growth, the new age kind of stuff. If you've seen a lot of these spiritual teachers, it's like these women can't acknowledge they have like these dirty, raunchy, you know, non-feminist desires so they couch it in this language of like oh the divine feminine and the divine masculine and the divine masculine needs to ravish the divine feminine and it's like okay divine feminine like this isn't really like a feminine trait to be passive but it's something a lot of women want but it can be you know you can be strong, active, not passive in the rest of your life and just want a sexual experience of being passive. But yeah, it bothers me how they try to say like, oh, women need to be, need to get into their feminine more. It's like, no, you don't need to get into your feminine more. Just ask for what you want. And you can be active too in asking for what you want. You don't always need to silently, passively trigger an animal instinct in a guy. And a lot, for the most part, I mean, this is going completely over guys' head because, of course, you know, feminism is telling them, um, you know, women don't want this. But the fact is, a lot of women do, but they themselves aren't acknowledging it, okay? Because for them, too, feminism has kind of brainwashed them in some ways um, and telling them it's not okay for them to want to explore something non-feminist in their sexual life so yeah um i feel like the beautiful thing about bdsm and kink is that you can be whoever you want in the rest of your life and then you can kind of have this fantasy world where you explore something different another thing is a lot of like traditional conservative women I feel like they sign their whole lives away saying, yeah, I want a man to lead and I love like traditional masculinity and I'm okay with being the support system. They basically sign their lives away being submissive in all of their life just so they can have a submissive experience in the bedroom. And it's like, ladies, it's a lot easier to come by than you think and you don't need to give your life away. You can have it in a controlled scene, if you will. So yeah. Um, well, this video took longer than five minutes, but I think this is something very interesting that men need to know. Um, a lot of women are looking for a submissive sexual experience, and they don't know how to ask for it. All right? Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? I guess I'll end it here, because there's a lot, I have a lot more to say about it, but yeah, TTYL everyone, and comment down below what you think. Have you noticed this, and I'm sure people won't totally understand this, and they'll be like, yeah, feminism sucks, and women should accept that they are not feminists. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm trying to say that a lot of women do have these kind of instinctual primal desires and that doesn't negate feminism at all it's just you know a part of their psychological makeup and a lot of women 
are are not sure how to fulfill those desires. So anyway, bye.